Hi, I'm tasting the 2021 vintage of the Venom Cellars Chardonnay from Monterey County in California. Monterey is a long, thin appellation that um, sort of follows the Salinas Valley. And fun fact, the Salinas Valley is known as the lettuce capital of the world also the home of John Steinbeck. Now, Chardonnay is very important in this region. It's planted to about 50% Chardonnay. This is from first generation winemakers. It's uh, two folks from the Napa Valley who really wanted to seek out very special coastal microclimates and really focus on growers that are sustainable. And in fact, even their packaging is focusing on ev everything being eco-friendly to minimize their carbon footprint. So this is um, not certified organically farmed, but they are practicing organic and sustainable farming. It's a whole cluster pressed and then it's fermented in barrel and goes through 100% malolactic. But let's see if we could figure that out, even if we didn't know it. All right. So kind of a pale lemon gold. On the nose, I would definitely know this is Chardonnay and I think I would definitely know that it was barrel fermented with full mallow. I'm getting that little butteriness, kind of that sweet cream note that you can get from Chardonnay that's gone through malolactic or MLF, if you wanna use that for a short. And then definitely the barrel impact for me is noticeable on the nose through this kind of vanilla bean clove. Chardonnay is really kind of like a blank slate for a winemaker. So as a grape variety itself, it can be not neutral, but it's not a highly pronounced aromatic wine. It usually has kind of orchard fruit, apple, pear, floral notes, but it's not high toned in aromatics like let's say Riesling or Gewürztraminer or Muscat. Um, so it's really able to kind of take on the winemaker's intentions. And I feel like this is a really great way to get to know that in the glass. So let's taste this together. Mm, very pure fruit very vibrant focused lots of fresh acidity which makes sense because it is in this sort of coastal region where you get a lot of cooling influences from the ocean again on the palate just really pure kind of fresh cut pear and apple there's some citrus notes there but i'm definitely getting the wine making the malolactic again with that kind of a little bit of butteriness and the oak i'm getting not only through the flavors of again that Vanilla, clove, I'm getting a little nutmeg here on the on the palate as well, but there's a different mouthfeel to wines that have been barrel fermented or spent a lot of time in barrel. It has almost like a rounded texture, like a breadth of palate or a volume in the mid palate that I don't get in wines that were in stainless steel. Those tend to feel a little bit more linear on the palate. So really beautiful wine. I would pair this with anything from the ocean, certainly vegetables, salads would be beautiful or just by itself. And again, if you're trying to get to know uh, wine making impact on Chardonnay, this is a perfect study example as well.